one remembers you of, you will remember that I scattered sandalwood seeds and quandong, seed, quandong seeds all over the place and I've got them coming up everywhere. So how high is this? This is the tallest sandalwood I have. It's 30, that's 30 centimetres. Let's start up to the top. That's about 48 centimetres high. And how old is it? About a year old. A bit over a year. Planted the winter before last. So 48 centimetres high. And they're doing very well. But these ones get extra water. There's several of them here. How many here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are sandalwoods because I, I kept the nuts separate. These ones are definitely sandalwoods. Now these these sandalwoods, as I said, I've scattered sandalwood and quandong seeds all over the place. They're close relatives. The uh, sandalwoods have edible nuts, and the uh, quandongs have edible nuts plus edible uh, uh, flesh around them, like the fruity flesh. But um, now these sandalwoods apparently can stand more tropical conditions because I saw that that I think it was in Fiji. There's a uh, sandalwood plantation, so they can stand more tropical, uh, humid conditions, obviously. But they seem to do quite well here. They're very tough. They can stand the heat. Now this is a very, this is a very tough-looking one. It's, uh, I think it's a sandalwood. I can't be sure because they have uh, similar leaves, quandongs and sandalwoods. I could, I'm not always sure which is which. Right beside it. There's this one, much taller, but its leaves are a bit different, and this one's thirstier too. This one often wilts on a hot day. It wilts on a hot day, this one. I don't know if it's a sandalwood or a kondong, but it wilts, this one. And a few inches away is this one, which is very tough, and it's got stiffer leaves very stiff and sturdy whereas that one, they're only a few inches away, I can't account for it and they're all growing under a, water, a giant wattle tree just here so there's plenty of uh, roots for them. What's the word? Parasitide? Whatever it is there is it semi or hemi or demi or something parasitic so they will latch onto the wattle tree's roots those ones are doing okay anyway but as I said, I've scattered the seeds of both Kwandong and Santa whatever. Let's have a look at some more of the ones that have just come up lately. This is a, this is a new one. I don't know if it's Kwandong or Sandalwood. Could possibly be a Sandalwood as they seem to be the toughest sort at uh, propagating themselves. But this is a very good healthy one. It's very, uh, obviously it's not getting too much water here. It's very strong and tough with good stiff leaves. It's quite a new one, that one. And nearby there's one too. This is another very tough one. Very hard, strong, stiff leaves. I say stiff because some of them don't seem to do so well and look a bit thirsty. I suppose it depends on the location. Is it Kwandong or Sandalwood? I don't know. We'll just have to wait till they fruit. I'm just so glad that they're coming up all over the place. They can certainly stand the heat here in the Lachlan Valley. just nearby, look, just a few inches away. Okay, here's another one. As I say, they don't all have identical leaves, so that could be, uh, they could all be sandalwoods, I suppose, with just slight leaf variations. They could be quandongs, though. There's another one. This one's quite a new one. 
shows yourself. I just would like to have some quandongs as well as sandalwoods because, well, I mean, they make a nice pie, the fruits. It's raining slightly. I did plant hundreds and hundreds of quandong and sandalwood seeds all over the place. Some I planted properly, others I scattered. And I just hope that if I got even one, I'd be very happy with that. But um, I seem to have uh, quite a few, which is what well, makes me happy. This one's growing under a wattle tree. Most of them have, have been planted under wattle trees so that they can parasitize. So I'm starting to discover more and more of them as I walk around the grounds. I planted them over the entire place. And I just keep discovering more of them lately, which is well, that makes me very happy. So I've always wanted to eat quandongs, fresh quandongs. Good bush tucker. Listen to the rain. <laughs> 